Greetings everybody, this is Kali, the Master Headhunter. I hope that everybody is in well and great standing when this video reaches you. I'm in a different area. I'm in my bedroom making a video and I wanted to make a video in front of the window because it has a whole bunch of, bit. yeah, see how when I close the window it kind of looks weird or whatnot? I guess, but anyway, um, I hope I'm not too bright, <laughs> so I'm going to sit right here. Um, I'm on my laptop, so it's a different quality. I was sitting in my bedroom, just got finished doing my hair, twisting my hair up, you know, trying to get creative with my natural hairstyles. My hair is growing. I'm really excited. I'm really happy. You know, the sides are growing back like they're supposed to. I had some breakage in the back and on the sides, but I believe that was due to stress. So anyhow, I thank you all who have been riding with me throughout my randomness, throughout my ups and downs, throughout my unstableness, throughout whatever the case may be. I really appreciate you, and I thank you so much, and I got so much love for you guys. I know I'm up and down, and I be all over the place, and sometimes I'm unbalanced, but I really appreciate you guys who have been riding with me, those of you who view my videos, good, bad, or indifferent, you know. I, I'm I'm really thankful and I appreciate it. You know, um, we don't expect anybody to watch our videos when we're having bad days or if it's depressing. You know, because that's not good for everybody. You know, and then some people can watch it and leave something very encouraging to say. You know what I mean? So I appreciate everyone who watches, whether you're a subscriber or not. If you're my subscriber, I one of my subscribers, I really appreciate or not my subscribers, but you subscribe to this channel that I've placed up on YouTube. I really appreciate it. Um, I have two more channels. It used to be called Dark Woman Goddess, but now it's called Faces of Kali. So that's a capital F-A-C-E-S of Kali, K-A-L-I. Only the, there's, there's spaces in between everything. Well, I'll just put, I'll do my best to put links below or whatever the case may be. I have another channel that I'm starting. It's going to be called Healthy Goddess Lifestyle. And I'm going to be sharing, um, you know, what I'm going to be doing as far as uh, building my body back up, becoming healthy again, getting rid of a lot of weight, uh, excess weight that I don't need, um, exercising what I do to do that and all that good stuff, right? So... Um, I also want to come on here, Love Power Goddess. I'm not angry at you. I love you. I was a little upset, sis, and I felt like you attacked me, and I kind of felt like you was antagonizing me, you know. Um, it was some sarcasm there. Um, and when you said that you only did that to see what I was going to do, that really was offensive. And it reminded me of my mother's behavior, you know. She would do things for shock value. Um, it's not good to antagonize people because you never know where somebody is at. You know what I mean? You don't know what stable, what, where their stability, if they're stable or not. You just don't know those things. You don't know if you can affect them very badly. You know, um, it can cause depression in people. You know, and that's something that I've dealt with uh, a lot um, is people antagonizing me because of my views and how I feel, you know. And I really had another person, that I, I, I'm not going to say this person attacked me, but I felt like they felt that they had to set me straight, you know, how I felt about things. And they were assuming that I viewed them in a certain way, which I don't. You know, um, anybody's beliefs, whatever you believe, that's fine with me. You know, I learned a lot with that last video I put up. I don't have it all together yet. I really don't. As much as some of you guys would love to think that, as much as I would love to think that, I don't have it all together. I'm still healing. I'm still growing. And my biggest issue that I'm working on is patience and my anger. Um, and I also have to learn how to balance my passion so that it won't come off very aggressively because I am an aggressive individual. I have a, an aggressive personality, and I just have to learn. But one thing that I have learned is, when you hit people where they're sore at or when you make people have to view themselves in a certain way, well, I don't say make, I made a video and I shared how I felt about the condition of our people and that we need to build our own, we need to begin to build our own economy. I realized that we are in no form, shape, and fashion ready to do this. Um, I realized when I brought that message, it made a lot of people angry because I feel, again, now, I know where I, uh, it was too much cussing in it. I was 
Like I explained in the beginning of the video, I was emotional, you know, so bear with me. But I see where my flaws was at in making that video. But I also realized that when you put a mirror up and people have to look at themselves, they don't like that. And um, it's like, you know, it's a saying that the pastors used to say when I was in church. He would say, you know, it's like, if it's ouch, put a Band-Aid on it or something to that matter anyway. But, you know, I'm meeting them where they were at. And I felt like it made them uncomfortable, so they lashed out in the way that they did. But that's just an eye-opening for me as to what I'm going to be dealing with with my clients, you know, when I go out here and deal with people or when I go out to facilitate, you know, um, lectures and stuff like that. I'm also working on my craft. Um, I've been doing hair since I've been like, Whew, maybe seven or eight years old, and I've just perfected it. I'm very good with weaves. I'm very good with, I don't really like doing chemicals. I don't like uh, perms, relaxers, you know, hair dyeing. I don't really care for none of that stuff. I'm like in roller set. I'm getting better at roller setting. Um, roller setting was never my thing. I'm getting better at that. Um, But I can do braids and weave styles and all type of things, you know. Um, makeup is something I have enjoyed um, this past year and I'm really learning I have so much if I can show you guys I got like tons of makeup like over here to the side I have my little setup in my bedroom and um, I'm really learning that because I want to be a freelance um, I want to become a freelance makeup artist not only do I want to do you know makeup where women make them glamorous I also like doing uh, theater makeup stage makeup stuff like that so that is something that I enjoy as well. Um, I'm really building myself here, and I'm attempting to build for communities, you know what I mean, for our people. And um, like I said, I know I come off aggressive at times, but, you know, I'm, I'm still balancing myself out to you guys. Nobody's perfect. A therapist, a psychologist, a life coach, uh, whatever you are, um, a banker, a doctor, an attorney, um, a cosmetologist, whatever you are. I mean, people, everybody's still growing, and we're all at different levels. I don't feel like I have to come on here and elaborate exactly where I'm at for anyone. And I don't feel nobody has to do that for me or anyone else either. We're all on different levels. I don't have to prove what level I'm on, you know. And I'm going to be honest and say something, and I don't mean arrogance, you know, but I, 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 some of the individuals that I run into, I realize that I've already passed them. And somebody tried to make it seem like the other day, well, I'm not on that level that you're on. I'm like, what level is that? You know, and they went into saying, you know, thinking that the Bible suppresses. I never said the Bible suppresses people. I said that religion was not good for our people. If you choose the Bible, that's okay. Um, that's on you. What you do is up to you. It's your life. It's your lifestyle. I have no control over anybody else's lifestyle. Yes, I don't have a problem with my mother being a Christian anymore. At first, it was a hard thing for me, you know, because I couldn't understand how black people would cleave to a religion that has, you know, been one of the many tools to keep us uh, docile, if that makes any sense, you know. So, but I don't have a problem with where my mother is at. I have an issue with the fact that us black folks have just, a lot of us, not all of us, have just given up. You know, we just let the European lead us like we're children. That's my problem that I have with my, some of my people. I'm going to be honest. That is an issue. That's a rift that I have, okay? So that's my issue. And I think I need to, my passions need to catch up with time is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think it's my time yet to really go there. Um, I'm not going to stop being who I am because it makes other people uncomfortable, but I am going to pick and choose what I come on here and share. You know, I'm still going to do my blogs. I'm still going to come on here and talk about what I think needs to be done. I'm just going to do it in a different um, way, you know. Um, at first, I was trying to reach all sorts of individuals, and I still want to reach those who I can. But, my, you know, I feel like my responsibility is just to 
um, put the information out here. Somebody shared that they see me as a liberator. Well, I've had many people in my life see me as that. Um, my sister, you know, I love dearly. I wanted to give up on her many times, but it just wasn't allowed. You know, um, we're starting to have a better conversation, you know, and I noticed that day as me and her repaired our conversation, it was like two people, you know, and I felt like, and I was so stressed out the other day, you guys. I couldn't sleep that day. Um, I couldn't sleep. And I stressed really bad. And I was just crying because I felt hurt. I felt um, attacked, you know, and I didn't understand, you know, why this was going on. When I've been doing so well, here's something that, you know, made me feel a little inadequate. Here's something that made me feel like, did I do something wrong, you know. And like I said, I see where um, I can correct things, you know, but at the same time, um, what what my sister explained to me is it makes people feel inadequate. And I told her and I had explained to her and then she understood where I was coming from. I said, well, I'm going to explain something to you. When I first, four years ago, when I first started learning all these different truths, you know, and, and coming into uh, an understanding of it, you know, I felt inadequate because the way people had made me feel you know, with their their lectures or speeches or when it, it was being revealed in front of me, it was like, oh, this is just, no. I didn't want anybody to know it. 33 years old, I'm just now learning these things. I was really hard on myself, you know. So it made me feel inadequate, and I was just so angry and so defensive about it. So when I let that part go, I can't feel inadequate. I'm only 30. At this point, I was 37, which I'm 37 today. I'll be 38. I apologize, because I'll be 38 in May. But I was like, you know what? It is what it is. It, it, this is we all develop and grow differently, and it's like this is my journey. That's your journey. That's their journey. That's her journey. That's his journey. That's and we all have a different path to follow here. We all have a different blueprint that comes with our soul. And we just need to read the ones that's on our soul and stop trying to tell everybody else what they should be doing. Now, I didn't tell anybody what they should be doing. Only thing I said that I believe that black, or us as black people should do is we should learn how to build our own economy so that we can build it, okay? But I can't tell anybody how to live, can't tell you what to believe or what not to believe, you know what I mean? I don't have a problem with you. If you're a Christian, that's fine. Now, at one point in my development, it was an issue. Cause I felt like it kept pulling me back down where I didn't want to be, you know. But I'm, I can have a conversation with anyone as long as you respect me. I respect you. Don't antagonize me. Don't insult me, you know. Cause it's just not, it's not, it's not a good thing. And I see that us as black people, we have nothing but poison for each other. We're afraid of each other. We don't know how to trust each other. We don't know how to talk to each other. We don't know how to approach each other. You know, so these are the things that I feel that needs to be addressed, and I'm going to address them. I don't care who it makes uncomfortable. Now, I'm going to bring a different style of how I do this. You know, but that day really had me, and I think, what was that, Thursday? I was really depressed. I was really, I was just hurting, you know, and I just couldn't sleep. I went to sleep, and I tried to clear my mind, and I was unsuccessful. woke up that morning, and I had to go to my husband to comfort me because that is that is one of our jobs as, you know, husband and wife is to comfort each other, you know, and I realized at that point that I've lived too much life in front of everybody else on these computers. I have just done too much, you know, and... Um, I'm so used to editing my videos in the part that I don't want in there. I just said something I really didn't want to say. But I realized that I have to live my life and appreciate what I have around me and stop focusing on what I don't have or where I'm not at. You know, um, the main reason why I felt stuck for so long is because I was concerned about what everybody else was saying about me, to me, what I should do, what I shouldn't do, you know. Oh, they don't like me, and I don't understand why, and I do my best to present myself in a, you know, a certain way that's acceptable. 
But that's the problem. I wanted to be accepted too much. You know what I mean? So I've learned that's not important. And what I saw that morning, you know, when I was just crying and crying and crying and, you know, my husband was there talking to me. He was on, he, he had to go to work that morning, you know. And um, I saw that what I really need to do, I, when I'm thinking, I'll be like, plus is this is sangria, is this a uh, natural, you know, lip thing? And it smells like grapes, and I just be, what I'm thinking. <laughs> so anyway, um, I really I need to spend more time with my husband. Um, we've been married for four years, and I was making him out to be the enemy because I was not used to being in relationships that long. Um, I wasn't used to anybody else making me accountable for my actions. Um, you know, so it, it was a lot of things that I had to um, learn how to work with. You know, and we've had to learn how to work with each other. And that morning really taught me a lot. You know, um, yesterday I didn't really get on too much. Um, I think I probably watched some videos on YouTube. I was more on Facebook yesterday than anything, but, you know, um, I find out so much different stuff on Facebook. I love it. You know, it's just like, but anyway, uh, I realized that that is the, he's like my best friend, I'm going to be honest, you know, and um, he's my closest friend, he's my companion, you know, and um, we both learned a lot about each other the other morning. And um, I spent time with him yesterday, you know, and we talked. And we all laughed and talked, you know, my daughter, him and myself, you know, and um, everything turned out to be pretty good, you know. And um, I had to think about something this morning, you know, because she said something about me being on a hiatus, and I didn't know I was on a hiatus, you know, uh, nor did I know I was perfect, <laughs> even though I'm a perfectionist, but I wasn't, you know. Not perfect, sis. You know, um, I thank you for your compliments on there, if that's what they were. Um, but I still thought you was being a little sarcastic, and that bothered me a little bit. You know, it reminded me of behavior that my mother has displayed, and I grew up watching her display that behavior. You know, but you guys, I didn't mean to make this very long, because I know a lot of people don't like long videos, but I'm long-winded, and it is what it is. You know, but um, I learned a lot about myself and how I did with others and everything else. So I appreciate that day. It wasn't comfortable. You know, I appreciate that day, though, because it showed me a lot. And it, I learned some things. I really did. You know, so I'm going to continue to work on myself and build myself. And um, I'm going to continue to work on building my companies. And I'm going to continue to just move forward, you know, um, I was really mad at myself, because I'm like, I've got quite a bit of weight, you know, but um, I've been having aches and pains, you know, it was just so terrible, my hair was falling out, it was just, it was ridiculous, but you guys, I'm feeling so much better today, um, that was a, a rough day for me, and um, I appreciate that day, like I said, so, yeah, you guys, um, I'm going to get out of here, because um, I'm going to go and uh, do something today. And um, I'm just looking forward to moving forward, you know, with the rest of my life. You know, um, I really am. I'm not going to interact as much with the Internet. I'm going to work on myself. Uh, I'm going to make my videos and upload them, and that's as far as I'm going to go. Um I'm not going to try to make any new relationships right now because I have to build uh, on the relationships that I have. And um, when I say relationships, I mean friendships, you know, the relationships I have with my husband, my daughter, that's what I'm talking about. So um, I'm going to build on those that I already have and work from there, you know, and um, keep it moving and not interact so much with the Internet, uh, just upload post and um I'm gonna get an Instagram back, you know, for my uh my hair and makeup channel. Um so I'm just I'm just excited. I'm working with different things. I love editing. I really do love editing. It's fun, it's exciting. I almost thought about getting a career in editing <laughs> you know, but I have so much going on you guys and I'm so hyper 
And um, I just want to pace myself and have patience with me and everybody else and what I'm doing so that I can grow and blossom and um, excel and be successful and prosperous. So uh, thank you guys. I appreciate you. Much love. I'm out of here, you guys, so I can finish the rest of my day. So I love you. Thank you for supporting me. And um, I look forward to, like I said, um, presenting new aspects to you guys and meeting a lot of you guys because um, I'm going to be doing some great things like a lot of us out here. But I just ask for the support, you know, because I support others. I just ask to be supported too. So much love. Later. I'm out of here. Bye.